Hackers are constantly on guard and these threat actors are evolving their attacks, making themselves more potent over time. Starting 2023, phishing is still as large a concern as ever. Cybersecurity is experiencing a fierce conflict between hackers and security experts as a result of the exponential growth in technology. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. Cyber criminals are trying new methods to help ensure phishing attacks as successful. The phishing emails infect victims with malware and they are doing so by experimenting with a new method of delivering the malicious payload. India has become one of the most frequently targeted countries for ransomware attacks this year. As per the report from Proofpoint, there has been a rise in cyber attackers attempting to deliver malware using OneNote documents, a digital notebook signified by .1 extensions that is part of the Microsoft 365 Office application suite. The question is, why is phishing so favorite among black hats? Because it plays as what has been often described as cyber security's weakest link. The 2022 DBIR revealed 82% of breaches involved the human element and that largely means employees being duped into clicking on malicious links and diving into fraudulent sites. That's why it's important that all companies know how to spot some of the most common phishing scams if they are to protect their corporate information. It's also crucial that their employees are familiar with some of the most common types of techniques that malicious actors use to pull off these scams. After all, they are the ones on the front line. However, it's unfair to put all the blames on humans as weak security measures account for much of the exploits that spill through. A person can't click on what's not there, so email security platforms, digital risk protection and anti-phishing solutions are a key element. However, you can't defend against what you don't understand. Researchers warn that it's likely these campaigns have a high rate of success if the emails aren't blocked and that more cyber threat groups are likely to adopt this technique to successfully deliver phishing and malware campaigns. Let's look into today's headlines in VAR India. Vedanta and Foxconn join hands with ST Microelectronics to manufacture semiconductors in India. Foxconn and Vedanta are almost ready to welcome European chipmaker ST Microelectronics as a technical partner in their projected semiconductor chip manufacturing facility in India. In the joint venture, Foxconn will serve as the primary partner. The government is positive on Foxconn, which is committing big investments in India. One PF supercomputing system based on CDAX Rudra servers to be built. The Center for Development of Advanced Computing, that is CTAC, and National Center for Radio Astrophysics have joined hands to build a high-performance computing facility with a computing capacity of one petaflop for conducting real-time mutual search for FRBs, that is fast radio bursts, and pulsers with the GMRT, which is funded by the National Supercomputing Mission, and the system will be based on the indigenous Rudra server developed by CTAC. NVIDIA to issue update for Discord bug slowing down GPUs. NVIDIA is updating an app profile for its GPUs after user complaint of low performance with chat application Discord running in the background. In an official tweet, NVIDIA explained the bug caused some GeForce GPUs not to reach their full clock speed if Discord was running in the background. Free Twitter API facing abuse by bot scammers and opinion manipulators. Twitter will continue to allow bots providing good content to access Twitter's API for free as per Elon Musk's tweet. He also said free API was being abused badly by bot scammers and opinion manipulators. It was easy for 100,000 bots to do bad things when there was no cost or verification process in place for API access. New wave of ransomware attacks targeting ESXi servers through VMware bug. New waves of attacks are designed to target VMware ESXi hypervisors to deploy ransomware on compromised systems. VMware has described the issue as an open SLP heap overflow vulnerability that could lead to the execution of arbitrary code. The attacks are being detected globally with a specific focus on Europe. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.